What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, if you could ring a little bell and buy my full card, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. This is um, bi weekly reading. Oh, not bi weekly reading. I'm sorry. Um, Oracle card reading for the sign of Pisces is to resonate with Pisces in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Moon, Hayward, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, thanks, everyone, for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are just the bomb freaking diggity.com. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support. I truly, truly, truly do. Um, the channel's just, but we want to keep it going. Just saying. We really, really do. So it'd be awesome. Just saying. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing the videos on your social media, if you are able to share them on your social media and you're willing to do so, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, everybody has free will and you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but I would appreciate it if you did. Just saying. Um, also, um, I want to say real quick, if anyone comes to you and says, um, um, hi, I'm Mary Johnson Smith and I want to give you a personal reading. Um, please report them to YouTube. Okay. Um, all right. Please, uh, please report them to YouTube, please. Because, um, there has been a lot of scammers and spammers and frauds and all kinds of crazy peeps on, uh, frauders on YouTube recently. And I know for me, I'm Mary Johnson Smith and Mary Diane Smith. Mary Johnson Smith is my um, Facebook handle. I've had that account over 10 years. Spirit messages you have for Pisces. Um, and Mary Diane Smith is my legal name. So, I mean, I obviously have a very established account with um, Facebook. Um, but um, what I'm saying is... Um, I know for a fact there's two people, two people just in the Huntsville, Alabama area. I live in Huntsville, Alabama, and there's two fem females that just in the Huntsville, Alabama area that live locally to me that look a lot like me. One I used to work with, she's I think she's 24 and I'm 37, and we look a lot alike, a lot, a lot, a lot alike, except she's a lot shorter than me. And then there's another chick, which I've never met her ever a day in my life. But she's been basically Facebook stalking me for the past two freaking weeks, or maybe more than two weeks now. Um, but there's a reason she's doing it, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, uh, just keep on the lookout. I mean, I don't know why this chick keeps Facebook stalking me. I have no freaking clue, but she is. And um, she looks, and this, that girl that I've never met looks almost identically like me. Like, if I had makeup on, she would look almost identically like me. It's freaking scary. But there's a reason she's doing it is what I'm saying. So if someone comes to you and says, hey, I'm Mary Diane Smith or I'm Mary Johnson Smith. Can I give you a personal reading? That's just creepy and weird. Anyways, I would never do that. Report their ass to YouTube. Just saying. All right. So this could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Behavior, Jupiter. Um, a free, free general oracle reading. Only take the messages that resonate. All right, let's see what we got. Self-esteem, honesty, crow spirit, porcupine spirit, and then I'll read these at the end. Number 17 or 48 may be very significant, 17 or 48. Holy crap, I'm burning up. Let's see if, hold on. Let's see if I can be decent if I take my sweater off. Pro, okay, yeah. I wasn't planning this, but we're taking the sweater off. Holy crap, I'm burning up. Okay. Whew. It's summertime. Oh, I feel free. Okay. Oh my God, this is so much better. Okay, I was freezing earlier, so. Okay. Self-esteem and honesty. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And by the way, I want to say, oh, well, we're in Pisces. Never mind. A particular Pisces self-esteem is about has been 
recently been blown down. Some by an abusive partner, some by important information that's about has come out, and some that's about to come out. Okay, so you take it out, resonate. So if this resonates with you, some of you guys, I heard your self esteem has been blown down. So it's been suppressed. It's been, it's went down. Um, some by abusive partners, some by information that has recently come out, and some by information that's about to come out. So self esteem, self esteem's went down. If that resonates with you. And another particular Pisces self esteem is about to really rise really connecting with the right person. Okay. And I heard another one of you guys' self-esteem is about to really rise because um, you're about to connect with the right person. So um, you're about to communicate in some type of way with um, another person. And I heard your self-esteem is going to rise. So hopefully it won't be like ego so big that it needs like a popping. I don't feel that it is for whoever this is. I just think this other person, um, other person is not narcissistic. Whoever this other person is, I can tell you that for sure. They're not narcissistic and they help build other people up. They don't tear people down. People that tear people down are narcissistic. So I think it's an empath you're about to connect with. Really going to be, be able to feed off of each other in a positive way. Okay, I heard really going to be able to feed off of each other in a positive way. So for whoever that resonates with, I think you're empath too. I didn't hear that from spirit, but that is just my deductive reasoning and logic on that. I think you're an empath as well, and you're about to connect with the empath. And so y'all will be able to positively um, feed off each other in a positive way, not one taking more than the other should kind of thing. Um, Copahessence, you know. Honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. A particular Pisces is about to be honest. One about to be forced to be honest. And one willingly about to be honest. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. So whoever, whatever Pisces this resonates with, I heard one of you guys is about to be forced to be honest and one you're going to willingly be honest. So um, that could be with person, people, place, family, organization, or group. You take it out, resonates. But one, you're about to be forced to be honest and one, you're going to willingly be honest. So you have to put in your life how it fits. Like I said, number 17 or 48 may be very significant. 17 or 48, pro-spirit, co-create with spirit. Give me just a second. Okay. Co-create with spirit. A particular Pisces really wants to collaborate with another individual. However, the time is not right right now. Intuitively, you know this. You have to be patient. Okay, so you take it out, resonates. I heard a particular Pisces really wants to heard collaborate with another individual. Um, but I heard uh, the time is not right right now, but intuitively you know this. The time will come, but you have to be patient. One step at a time. Okay, so I heard the time will come. So you really want to collab with this person. Maybe you've told them you, ha you want to, or maybe you haven't. Um, you take it how it resonates and fits in your own life. But however that resonates, you really want to collab with them. But I heard from Spirit, the time's not right right now. So, you know, they might have serious shiznit going on in their own life right now. Or you may, or you both may. But I heard from Spirit, the time's not right right now. But it will be, it sounds like later down the line, um, you have to be patient, patient with it. So be patient that the time will come, basically. But you have to, and I heard one step at a time. So one, you got to take it one step at a time, maybe with this person or with the process that they're going through or you're going through. But the time to collab with them right now, right now is not the right time. For some, whoever that resonates with. And for another Pisces, you're about to 
really connect with spirit. Gain gifts. Okay, so you take it out resonates. And for another one of you Pisces, I heard you're really about to uh, connect with spirit and gain gifts. So you are about to collab with spirit. So it's not collabing with a 3D person. The first message I think is uh, actual Pisces wanting to collab with the actual person. Like, you know, a person in the 3D. But the second message is a Pisces that wants um, that's about to collab with spirit. Kind of like last year when I started getting spirit messages. I was collabing with spirit, but hell, I didn't even realize I was. <laughs> but, you know, everything happens for a reason and it's turned out to be the best thing ever happened to me. But, um, but that's at least for one of you guys. You're about to start collabing with spirit. Just saying. All right. Porcupine spirit. Time for beginnings. Sorry about the card. My um, kitty cat spilled water on them. New beginnings coming for several Pisces. But make sure to really put your protection up for yourself and for some other people in person. It's important. Okay, so you take it out, resonate. So I heard new beginnings coming for a lot of you guys. So, you know, whatever new beginnings they are, um, that could really resonate in different ways from different people. It could be um, a new job, a new. Um, career path, uh, going to school, um, a new love interest, a new friend, um, whatever it is, whatever it is, uh, a new collab, but apparently not right, right now for some of you guys, um, or whatever it is, what, or the gaining spiritual gifts from spirit, but however it resonates, I heard you really, it's important to, um, put your, uh, protection up, so put your, protection up for yourself and for the other or others in these new beginnings meaning protect the good things in your life is how i take that um spirit message really protect the good things in your life if you know these things are working out positively for you and you're benefiting and the other person is benefiting and y'all are it's copacetic whether it's a friend a new love interest a business collab partner um getting sp spiritual gifts um connecting um a neighbor whoever it is it's in it yeah of course you want to protect them you want to protect yourself and them i heard it's very important to do that so uh meaning you know don't be a douche basically don't be a douche wad don't be a douche wad throwing people under the bus um really have integrity integrity and morals and really show your loyalty and integrity and show you care basically um by protecting this person and protecting yourself so not only are you protecting your that person but you are protecting yourself because they are positively you it's a cop uh situation but it will remain a cop situation if you take necessary precautions to really help protect yourself and this person meaning protect your energy protect them protect what you have whatever it is a business partnership a love relationship a neighbor relationship whatever it is um and porcupines you know they um they have the spikes on their body as like armor um defense mechanism in the wild so um that's like armor for yourself and that person against the world because the world can be freaking shisty sometimes just for real for real for real it can be um that's how i take this but you take it out resonates now is not a fucking time now is not the fucking time whatever you are thinking about don't do it oh crap this is for one person very impulsive action Okay, I heard, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I heard this is for one person, very impulsive action, so you take it out, resonates, so apparently it's um, <clears throat> a very impulsive action that you want to take, 
towards person, people, place, family, situation, or organization. It's very impulsive. So like flying by the damn seat of your pants, just out of the freaking blue. Um, so you didn't put any thought or effort into it, whatever this is. But I heard it's um, basically not a good idea. However, another Pisces that has really planned cognitively in their head and strategically planned some communication, some other plans, definitely the right time. Okay, so I heard for another one of you guys, um, apparently you have planned some of you guys in your head and some actual physical plans, some kind of strategic planning you've been doing in your life. It could be with person, people, place, situation, or organization. I heard that is a good time. It is a good time to do that. So um, you take it out resonates. It could be communication. It could be physical plans. Um, but it, I heard from spirit that is a good time. But for one of you guys, there's some kind of very impulsive thing you want to do. And apparently, I mean, it's loud and clear. Now is not the fucking time. Whatever you were think thinking about, which is that one impulsive action, apparently, um, it's not a good idea. Of course, you can choose to listen to spirit or not. Everybody has free will. Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You were missing some cool shit. Oh, man. A particular Pisces has been very depressed recently. Sleep is good, but too much is bad as well. Okay, so you take it out resonates, man. So um, this is at least for one, this might not resonate for everybody. You have to plug in the messages to resonate. But at least one Pisces apparently has been de very depressed about something. So they've been very depressed. I heard sleep is good. Yeah, proper amount of sleep is good. Um, but too much is bad. So somebody I think has been um, sleeping consistently too much. Because, you know, everybody, like for example, hell, I slept 11 hours, I think like three weeks ago. Um, I, after I went full time with this, um, I worked July 1st and then I went full time July 2nd on with this. I think it was like July 2nd or 3rd or it might've been 4th. I slept like 11 hours and usually I'll sleep eight, nine hours a night, but I slept 11 that night, but I needed it. I needed it. And I haven't done that since I haven't slept 11 hours since, but I really, really needed it. But I think this for one of you guys, you've been consistently sleeping like 10 12, 11, 13 hours or something crazy all the time. Um, yeah, um, that's exactly what I think. And I, it might, might be just for one of you, but it's because you're depressed. Now, like I said, sleeping 11, 12 hours every now and then, sometimes your body needs to catch up. But whoever this is for, it's all it's becoming incessant, like all the time. And it's because of some kind of depression. Um, so basically, um, you gotta, you gotta build your, you gotta get yourself up. You gotta get yourself up. You don't get yourself up. You're going to fall into this rut and then it's really, really, really going to be bad. I mean, you want to build yourself up, not break yourself down. If anybody needs to hear that. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay. I didn't, I didn't. All right, personal readings currently closed. However, donations, super duper greatly appreciated. Hi, Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. If you'd like to donate, all donations are greatly freaking appreciated. Single mom, two kids, just saying, just saying, saying. So it really, really, really helps. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support on the channel. I do. A um, new um, series probably going to come in August. I'm going weekly readings in August, just a little FYI. And um, that's it. Um, except if anybody comes to you and says they're me. Um, please report their ass for fraud to YouTube. Just say it. All right. I love you guys. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.